In this example, we want to illustrate the definition of limit as x approaches infinity. So we want to find the limit of the function that we're given here and determine uh, the integer value uh, that's strictly bigger than zero such that x is strictly bigger than m for a given epsilon of 0.1. Okay. So first, let's find the limit of this function. Okay. So the limit okay, of 3x squared minus x minus 2 over 5x squared plus 4x minus 1 as x approaches infinity. Okay. So this is a rational function. So if you remember from pre-calc, okay, uh, the way you can find the uh, horizontal asymptote is by taking the ratio of the leading coefficients. Okay, and In this case, uh, we can do that since the degree in the top is the same as the degree in the bottom. Okay, So we have a value of 3 fifths here. So therefore, that's what this limit is equal to. Okay. All right. Okay, so now we apply the uh, definition. Okay. Um, okay. So we're going to have. Okay, so we ha we're going to have we have f of x minus l less than epsilon. Okay, so our function. Okay, we have three x squared minus x minus 2 all divided by 5x squared plus 4x minus 1 minus L. L in this case is 3 fifths. This is going to be less than the epsilon value which is 0.1. Okay. Alright. So this statement is equivalent to okay, negative 0 0.1 less than Okay, I'm going to go ahead and simplify the inside part. So, um, so simplifying the inside part here, okay, we're going to get, okay, or actually, well, actually it'd be easier. Um, I'll go ahead and just write it out this way. So we have uh, 3x squared minus x minus 2, all divided by 5x squared plus 4x minus 1 minus three-fifths less than 0 0.1. So from here what I can do is uh, go ahead and add three-fifths to both sides. Okay. Uh, so we have so basically just adding 0 0.6 on both sides. So that's going to give us 0 0.5 on this side less than 3x squared minus x minus 2 all divided by 5x squared plus 4x minus 1 less than 0 0.1 plus 0 0.6 will give us 0 0.7. Okay. All right. So now we can use this information to find uh, to find our m value. Okay. So what we have here. Okay. So our function. Okay, our function does. Uh, well, part of it does something like this. Okay, so this is part of the uh, function that we have here. Okay, and we have, so this function is bounded by 0.5 and 0.7. Okay, and also keep in mind, okay, this, right, our function is approaching 3 fifths. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and draw that in. Okay, so let's say this is three fifths. Right? So it's getting closer and closer to three fifths. Okay, and our bound. Okay, we have a right. This function is bounded between 0.5 and 0.7 for this epsilon value. So just to illustrate this, okay, so three fifths. Uh, this is uh, 0 0.6. Okay, so for epsilon 0.1, okay, we have so here is 0 0.7, and right here is 0 0.5. OK, 
Okay, so that is right. So this is L. Okay, this is acting as L. So this is L plus epsilon, and this is L minus epsilon. Okay. All right. So we have our right. Okay. So there's our right. There's our uh, there's the interval that we have. Okay. So to find m, okay, we're interested in, okay. So uh, remember that the the x values that are bigger than m means those corresponding y values for our function is going to be bounded between 0.5 and 0.7. Okay. So if we look on the graph, that looks that's going to occur somewhere here. Okay. So this is the value we need, okay? Because after that, after the x values that are bigger than m, the y values for a function, okay, the difference between the uh, for the for the x bigger than m, the the function values minus l is going to be less than epsilon. In this case, less than 0.1. Okay. All right. So. You can do this algebraically, or you can do the calcul. You can use the calculator to do this. Um, so let me show you how you can do that on your calculator. Okay. All right. So we have to turn on here. So. Okay. So I've already put in the function. So we have three x squared minus x minus two, all divided by five x squared plus four x minus one. And here's the lower bound, point five. And we have 0 0.7 and uh, uh, 3 fifths, which is 0.6. Okay, so okay, graphing this, this is what we get. Okay, so the bounds here, I'm using, uh, for y, I'm using the minimum value of 0, the maximum value of 1. And for x, the minimum value of 0 is going to be set for 0. And the maximum x value is 15. Okay, so this is part of the function, okay. Uh, there's another part up here, but we're not we don't care about that because we're only interested in this part for the uh, For our given epsilon and for the horizontal we have the for our horizontal asymptote So that's what we see here. So you have a horizontal asymptote of 0.6 up here is uh, You have your upper bound 0.7 and then your lower bound 0.5 So we're interested in knowing where this value for which x value is this uh, Is this happening at? So we can use the uh, intersect function. So if we go to second trace, go to intersect, which is, you can either click on five or scroll down. Okay. And then, so uh, it's on the function, okay, it's on the curve. So we just hit enter, and then it's gonna jump to the second curve. So that's what we want. So we wanna know where this curve is intersecting this lower bound. Okay, so hit enter, and then for guess, you can just pick somewhere close to the intersection point. So it's somewhere around here, okay? And that gives us a value of uh, approximately 6.46, okay? So we want, in this problem, okay, we want, uh, the, we want the integer, okay? So we're gonna round up, okay? So we're gonna say the, the value for m is going to be seven. Okay. All right. So that is the solution we want. Okay. So we're gonna let. So we want. Okay. So in our problem, uh, we're gonna have our solution is gonna be m equals to seven. Okay. All right. And that's the solution we want. So any x value. Okay. All right. For any x value greater than seven, uh, the function values. Okay for those particular x values, okay, will be uh, within this epsilon neighborhood, okay? And not only that, the difference between the function value and L is gonna be strictly less than epsilon, okay? All right.